Welcome to Finn, right here at the Paris International Air Show for 2017. Uh, really pleased now to be joined by Anand from uh, Scient. Uh, welcome to the Farnborough International News Network. Thank you, Andy. Now, talk to me about the migration that you've been going through from a manufacturer to a, a service provider. So, uh, we have been in the design services uh, you know, business. So, we started, we had our start in the aerospace business in, um, I would say, late 90s, early 2000, when a number of the new platforms was uh, coming online. So we had our start in uh, helping customers across the spectrum design in uh, different engineering areas. So we were primarily a design services company, but one of the uh, evolution that uh, we went through or we started going through about three or four years back is to go from a pure design services company into a design manufacturing and you know, aftermarket company because we had, you know, all of these relationships with customers. We had built significant amount of product knowledge in helping them design. Uh, and we are now sort of taking it into the manufacturing area and then from there into, uh, you know, the aftermarket space, helping them sort of maintain their platforms which are already in the market and the ones which are going in. So we are becoming a design, build, maintain partner and a full, you know, full spectrum service provider for them. And I guess being, you know, covering the full spectrum, the integration of those various technology platforms across the entire A and D ecosystem is something that you're having to manage very closely. Absolutely, I think uh, what we are witnessing is, uh, you know. Even though the aerospace industry has been global for the longest time, um, the speed and the depth of globalization that we are seeing in the last, you know, 10, 12 years, and especially in the last, you know, six to eight years, is just amazing. I mean, um, it is it is very difficult to sort of predict you know, what specifically a company does and then say that that's what they are going to be, you know, five years from now because there's so much of, you know, acquisitions which are happening, so much of alternative value propositions which are, you know, sort of coming through. So, and, and we are sort of trying to reposition ourselves as not just, you know, selling discrete services, but how do we help our customers, you know, bring business outcomes. And those business outcomes, you know, keep changing every, you know, four to six to eight years you know, like I said, eight to 10 years back, it was all about, can we bring this design out? Can we get it into entry on service? Today, it's all about how do we get, you know, product rates up? How do we get cost out of the product? And we know that three years from now, it's like, okay, we have all of these, you know, big, products which have gone into the market, how do we support it, how do we ensure that, you know, we, everybody is trying to find better ways to serve the customer and have a better, you know, profit share and market share and that. Uh, and our job is to make sure that we help our customers win in their markets. 